Now we will wait for everybody to connect. It's almost time. In a few minutes, we will start our class for today. And it's going to be an interesting one because we are going to be working present perfect again, the same as yesterday. Hello, hello, good evening. Let's see who's here, who's here. I was worried that you have abandoned me. Let's see, let's see. Reinaldo, good evening. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. How's everything? Excuse me, I don't listen. Everything. How was your day? How's everything? Ah, everything. Well, uh, it's very, um, very nice. In the morning, I got, I got, no, excuse me, and I went to investigate why I am not have internet. Okay. Did they fix it? Yes. But at uh, 1 p.m. Until, until 1 p.m. Until 1 p.m. And my email in the institu institutional. Yes. Uh, 
is very there there were there was many email many emails i can imagine i can imagine hey Rinaldo, in your case i'm just missing the final exam right no le falta el I, examen final. Oh, okay. i suppose um i plan it i plan it uh, i going to do tomorrow uh, in in the day okay perfect perfect mm -hmm. just let me know when you finish okay yeah Excellent. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Thank you very much, Reinaldo, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Katia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How about you? I'm just great. Just fine. How was your day, Katia? It was great. Great. Oh, nice adjective. Tell me why. Same as usual <laughs> in the morning. Okay. I like it. And the afternoon? I have I have to go out to do uh, uh, um, some, uh, some okay. again okay. Like yesterday. Actually, the expression is this: I have to go to run some errands. And run some errands. Okay. That's the correct expression. Okay, you run okay. some errands. That, errands. that means hacer mandado o diligencias. I went to university. I went to clinic, policlinico. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, you went to the doctor. Yes, I. <laughs> I don't like going to the doctor. <laughs> It was necessary sometimes. Yeah, it is. It is, I know. I mean, I am under one treatment and uh, I just go get the medicines. And the other treatment, the one that I was taking for insomnia, I stop it. Right now it's under control. I can sleep. But I was on... I sleep very well all the time. No, in my case, I was taking pills for two years. Estuve con medicamento por dos años. The last time I got insomnia, la última vez. I mean, I've been, I have had that problem since I was a teenager. He tenido el problema de adolescente. So, it comes and goes. DNA se va. Uh, but, no, it's nothing to worry. I read a book named Insomnia. <laughs> well, actually, I read books when I get insomnia. Oh, that's okay. Okay, well, welcome. Thank you very much, Katia. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Mario Hernandez, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, uh, teacher. Mario, Mario, I called you today in the afternoon. Yo le llamé and your phone was off. It's correct. And I have a other meeting oh. and in the college of my son. Okay. On my, between... on my son's private school. A, on my son private private school yes because if you're saying college that's like a like a university okay okay so, so we have in english we have public school private school okay and i uh, other meeting and uh, between six excuse me six to seventy and a half hours okay uh, well mario perhaps at the end of the class you can stay for a few minutes okay it's thank correct you. it's correct thank you very much welcome to the class mario thank you teacher i am glad to see you are home you are not wearing a uniform that's nice yes yes uh, i'm back in my home that's great that's great 
Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you. Welcome. Mr. Ricardo Mancia. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Um, I'm fine. Um, How was your day, Ricardo? Um, um, I've been better. I've been better. I've been better. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a nice expression. You can also say, uh, no much. Actually, I've been better. That's present perfect. It's I have been better. Uh, just tell me. I have been better. Yeah. But, but contracted, we say it like this. We say I've been better. Yeah. Um, and so my pronunciation is incorrect or... Oh, you I said will... it correct. You said it correct. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. You said it correct. Yeah. I'm just making it clear for the rest of the class. Okay? Oh, thanks, thanks, yes. Oh, thanks to you. That's a nice expression. When somebody tell ask you, how you doing? And it's actually informal. It's informal, realmente. If I come and I ask you, hey, how you doing, Ricardo? And you say, oh, I've been better. That means like, uh, no tan bien. That's actually the idea, the, the, the idea in Spanish, when you say, uh, así, por ahí, más o menos. That's the idea when you say, I've been better. Because if you translate it exactly, it was like, uh, he estado mejor. But yes, yes, the, yes. the equivalent for us would be like, um, I mean, no much. It's pasándola, aguantando, struggling. Soportando. That's the idea. Well, welcome to the class, Ricardo. It's nice talking to you. In your case, Ricardo, you almost finished the platform, right? Okay. Uh, no, actually, actually, I I've been done the five five eight exercise. Yes. Um, I had planned to finish this this night. Okay. Uh -huh. yes, you are... Actually, uh, uh, in the in the noon you call me right yes yes i remember i remember calling yeah, you yeah. well yes you are missing the homework five the final exam and uh, but but first the... i been i i finished the section one to yes. write exercise because i had uh, no sé cómo decir que tengo algunos malos que tengo que I have, arreglar primero. Okay, yes, section one is the one that you got the lowest. La sección yeah. no, 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 que tiene más. Vale. Okay, you say, I have some mistakes. Ah, uh, yeah, mistakes. I have some mistakes. Tengo algunos errores. Well, it's good to have you here in the class, Ricardo. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay. um, no sé cómo, decir, cómo se dice inglés, pero como... Tengo problemas con el celular, entonces me cuesta a veces conectarme. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That happens. And connection has been bad. Y la conexión ha estado mala. Well, let's see who else is around. Who, Basilia, hello. How are you, Basilia? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. How's everything? How was the house? You always <laughs> stay at home. Yes, always. But this day, I went to my sons and where did you go piscina went to the piscina to the pool uh, the pool yes oh that's great basilia went out excellent no and me i don't like a uh, pool but my sons like yeah but you went out pero salió i mean that's great you never whenever i ask you you always stay home uh yes uh, Right. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you, Basilia, and welcome to the class. Thank you. My dear Emily, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are um, you, Emily? I'm tired. Tired? Why? What's it doing? Because uh, the university. What? For the university. The university, come on, Emily. The university is fun. La universidad divertidísima. I mean, my best memories are from that time. It's beautiful. 
I mean, if we get yes. adjectives, do you remember the adjectives we were using to describe? I could use like beautiful, nice, relaxing. I mean, you can go there and relax. No, teacher. Come on, Emily. Look, I'll give you an advice. I'll give you an advice. Le voy a dar un consejo. Take the subject that I took all the semesters. Tome la materia que llevé todos los semesters. I took cafeteria one, cafeteria two, cafeteria three, and I did good in that one. <laughs> uh, and Katia yeah. is like, no. <laughs> Pero en pandemia no. Okay. What's your studying again, please? I start, I have. I am I am studying. I am studying economics. Economics. Ooh, numbers. Ooh. Mm -hmm. where, where do you study? Which university? In La Uca. Uca. Ah, easy cheesy. Fast <laughs> Yeah. Piece of cake. Pan comido. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Do your best, do your best. I know you are going to make good. Yo sé que le va a ir bien. Thank you, Thank Emily. You, Thank you, welcome. Let's see, Mr. Carlos. Hello, good evening. How are you? Carlos. Well, I think Carlos is not available. Harleen. Hello, Harleen. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Harleen. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Please tell me. Uh, I think it's good, but I am very busy, worried because I studied online master and I need to finish my assignment. 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 Okay. What's uh, your master on? What's your major? Uh, finance. Finance? Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's excellent. Yeah. Okay, so thanks. tell me, tell me, in which semester are you? The master is two years, right? Uh, yes, but I study online. I, uh, I go to study the fourth module. I don't Moshu, know. This. Moshu. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I I envy you. I envy you. Can be a man. I was planning on getting into back into the university this year, but I couldn't make it on time. Yo deseaba regresar a, a la universidad este año, pero no pude a tiempo. Because yes. In my case, I want to study another career. Quiero estudiar otra carrera. Mm -hmm. I mean. Ah, this is good. Yeah, just to, just for kicks, actually. <laughs> Realmente solo por. When I say this is a modism, este es un modismo. In my case, I just want it just for kicks. In my case, when I say just for kicks, it's like uh, for for studying, for simply to study. Ah, okay. That's why I want to get another career. So I am I am choosing between uh, continue studying as something in English or perhaps going into administration or psychology ah, okay those are the those are the areas i'm interested in but my plans for studying are, are like uh mis planes para estudiar are like long because if i have the time i would like to study like at least one more career and one more master so um, okay I, mean, I, I i i i'm yes? I get bored here. Me aburro. Okay. I I started because I don't have child and I had more time because for a study. You don't have children? Yes. In this case, because, you say I don't have children. Yes, I don't have children and I had more time for a study. Oh, yeah. The more, other career. More yes. time and more money. Man, yes. <laughs> kids, yes. kids are so expensive. Los chicos son tan caros. If you, uh, I don't if, know. 
if you don't know, oh, you can ask whoever, even Emily's father. He will be like, oh man, this lady is so expensive to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, but don't worry. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Welcome to the class, Marilyn. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Joselino, hello. How are you? Jose Lino, hello. I think he doesn't hear me. Okay, well, let's see. Let's continue, guys. Uh, before I move on, antes de continuar, uh, I will make an, a small announcement right now, and at the end, voy a hacer un pequeño anuncio ahorita y hasta y al final de nuevo. Uh, Insaforum nos está sacando carrera, como se habrán dado cuenta algunos de ustedes, les han enviado mensajes, a algunos les he llamado directamente, este, a algunos de ustedes no les han mandado mensajes porque ya terminaron, ¿ok? Y sí, porque ya vi unos rostros ahí de, no mí, ¿ok? Aquellos que ya me terminaron la plataforma ya no les mandaron nada, ¿ok? Relax, pero sí nos están sacando carrerita, ¿ok? Este, entonces, realmente, les seré honesto, me habían pedido que termináramos la plataforma hoy. Yes. Eh, entonces, ahorita he negociado porque me puse a hablar yo directamente con algunos de ustedes in order to make it uh, like a, I'm sorry, continue. Okay, guys, let's see. Yesterday we were talking with present perfect, do you remember? And yesterday we were focused on one idea that present perfect expresses something that started in a moment of the past and continues, right? Una actividad que todavía no está terminada. Now, pero now I have the second use of present perfect. Hoy les traigo el segundo uso del presente perfecto. Tiene dos aplicaciones. What's the second application? Okay, it's very simple. ¿Cuál es la segunda? Easy, easy, cheesy. Is this, look. The second way how we apply it is this. We use it to express something that happened at a indefinite moment in the past. Lo utilizamos para algo que sucedió en un momento indefinido del pasado. And you get like, what? Isn't that simple past? Y también se habían pasado el pasado simple eso. Okay. Simple past is something that is finished in the past. An action that is finished. Okay. I lost my keys uh, yesterday. I lost my keys, perdí mis llaves, yesterday. Okay. That action finished. It's done. And at a specific moment in the past. In a moment specific. Okay? Now, uh, imagine that I I invite, let's see, let's see, I'm sorry, I don't want trouble. No quiero problemas. I invite Katia for, for a cup of coffee. Le invito a que nos tomemos una taza de café and talk. And I say, and we are there. And I start like, Looking everywhere, and Katia asks me, "What's wrong?" Ella me pregunta, "¿Qué pasa?" Yo le digo, "Oh, I have lost my cell phone. I have lost my cell phone. He perdido mi teléfono. When? I don't know. How? I don't know. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cómo? No sé. I have lost it. Indefinite moment. Moment is definido, right?" You get the idea? Yes? Okay. Uh, like uh, another example of that could be, let me see. Oh, imagine that when Emily's boyfriend called her. Cuando le llama el novio, Emily. He tells her, I have thought about you all day long. Basically. Yo he pensado en ti todo el día. That's started in the past and continues, right? The two applications. 
I have lost my keys. Indefinite in the past. I have thought about you. I pen 70. Oh, that's still continuous. Right? Yes. Uh, I have read many books. I have read many books. Yo he leído muchos libros. When? All my life. Oh, my vida. Okay. It's in the past. I have read many books. You see? It's in the past. In an indefinite moment in the past. In a moment indefinite. Reinaldo asked me, hey teacher, why are you not reading any new book now? Reinaldo me pregunta, hey, ¿por qué no está leyendo un libro nuevo? Oh, I have read many books. He leído mucho. When? Oh, all my life. No podría ser de un momento específico. Todo el tiempo. Right now, I'm not reading. I'm tired. You see? Indefinite moment in the past. Are we clear right there? Vamos bien ahí? Yes? Perfect. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. We are going, now we are going to do the conversation. We are just a few, so we are going to do it fast. Somos poquitas, así que lo vamos a rápido. Then we are going to go to um, a short grammar explanation, another video, and to practice. The idea for today is to practice, okay? Because I was explaining to you about the, the indefinite moment, because we are going to see something in the grammar explanation related to it. Le explico lo del momento indefinido del pasado porque en la grammar explanation vamos a ver algo que se refiere a ello. Let me share with you the first part. And if any one of you can take the screenshot of the conversation, that would be great. Si alguien me toma la captura de la conversación, I would be very grateful. Let's see. Oops, again. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know... I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, one more time. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, let's see. Let's check it out. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been? Has estado. Remember, this is the past participle. This is an irregular verb. Have you been? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been, again, to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already. Yeah, this is already, yeah, okay? I've already been to one. Oh, well. How about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? 
you know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Now let's see vocabulary. Any question about vocabulary, guys? No? Um, what is a street car? Okay, perfect. Street car. Let me explain to you. A street car is like a, a, a like a train wagon that goes in the middle of the city. Usually, uh, if you see movies, if you see movies from San Francisco in California, there are películas donde aparece San Francisco, located in San Francisco in California, it's very common that you see that there is a wagon, como que fuera un wagon of an old train, de un tren viejo, that there are like the lines, like the, the train lines in the street, en medio de la calle van las, las lines, los uh, rieles, and they are electric. There's a cable where they go. Those are street cars, okay? And in New Orleans, there's also of those. I don't make reference of movies from New Orleans because in New Orleans, usually what they tell you is about the carnivals, right? Because in New Orleans, you get carnivals from men every week. I mean, you go there to party. Okay, is it clear now? Is it clear? The street car? Yes, perfect. Now let's see. We need to do the conversation part. So I'm going to divide you in groups. Joselino, you told me you are having problems with the with the audio, right? With the microphone. I don't have any problems with the microphone, right? Creo que puedo usarlo. Yes, perfect. Okay, excellent, excellent. So we are going to be working right now in pairs. So please jump into the groups. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. conversation is 5.1 in the platform. But you have it on the WhatsApp group. I don't know in whose house is there's a lot of noise. No sé en la casa de quien dice de hay alguien pensando, but the sound gets in. La de luna. De luna, la, sol, la. Yeah. 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 Have you been in New Orleans, Tom? Just a few days. I'm, I'm ready, excited to be here. Already. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a few days. I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Club. I'm sorry. Yeah. Club. 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 Yeah, I already. Again? Okay. Again, again. 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 Okay. Again. I am. I am Jan. It's great. It's great to see. Great. You, uh, great. 
It's great to see you, Todd. How you have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Riverboat. Riverboat. Okay. Y solamente ya, ya. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds, and we go back. Okay. Okay. Um. So oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's Emily, there's Celine, Cecilia, Charlie, Caroline. Caroline, I like your name. Teacher. It's not quite common. Not muy común. Yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah. It's like Emily. Emily. Have I heard Emily before? Yes, I have. Once, just once. It's not common either. Mm -hmm. What's your brother's name, Emily? You told me you got a little brother, right? Yeah, Oliver. Oliver. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Like Oliver Trees. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excellent. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have everybody? Man, today there's just a few people. Well, Ricardo connected and disconnected. I think Tamara also. Let's see who's gonna be first. Who's gonna be first? Emily and Basilia, you are going to start. Okay. Me? Yes, Emily and Basilia. Emily, you start. Emily starts. It's great to see you, Doug. Have you been in your lands long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I already done that too. Have you ride riding the streetcar? There's there a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, perfect, excellent. Just remember, already, 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 okay? Emily, ridden, ridden. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Have you ridden in a streetcar? Okay, and Basilia, take it easy, take it easy, like that, okay? Remember, take it easy is an informal expression. So you say it like that, take it easy. Okay, and remember, take it easy is like tranquilo, okay? Just remember, take it easy is an informal expression. You use it with your peers. Lo utilizamos con nuestros iguales. Never say that to your boss, okay? Jamás se lo digan al jefe. It's considered like disrespectful. Sería considerado como irrespetuoso. Ok. If you say to, to, to your boss, hey man, take it easy. Uh -uh. It's informal. Ok, it's very informal. You say that to your friend, to, your, to one of your relatives, a un amigo, a un familiar, but uh, not to the boss. Ok. Let's see, who's next? Reinaldo and Katia. Let's see. Okay. It's great 
see you talk. Have you seen your Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. You are just cloud jet. Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, how about after? I, I ha, I've really done that too. Have you written a nice big card there? Uh, there are a lot of fun. Actually, that's, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, Reynaldo, look at me. That's how I got. That's how I got. Uh, that's I have I got. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how I got here. Thank you very much, Reynaldo and Katia. Umberto and Mario. Umberto, you will start, please. It's great to see you, Paul. How great. You I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Umberto. Great. 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 Okay. It's great to see you, Tall. Have you been in New Orleans long? <clears throat> Mario, your microphone. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to a walk to one. Oh, well, how about Riverwood Tour? Oh, I've already done that to that too. Have you reading in a streaker? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Here today. Well, is there anything you do want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet I are killing me. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mario. Already, already. Okay, already. Uh, yes, uh, I have a question. Uh, what is the uh, the correct pronunciation? Uh, I'll be already. Is is uh, I'll be ready. I I'll uh, no. I can't pronunciation really. Okay, okay, okay. The correct one. Okay, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry to hear that. Let's see. The the correct pronunciation is I've already done that. I've already been. I've already been. I've already done. I've already. I've already. You get them together. Uh, the correct form is I. I be already been. I've already. I be already. No, listen to me. Listen to me. I've. I. I've. I've. It's a V at the end, just the V. I've, 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 like that, perfect. I've already, I've already. I've already. Like that, I've already. I've, I will, I will ready. Or you can say, I've already, I've already. I already. Perfect. That's correct. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Lilian and Mr. Charlie, please. Lilian, you teacher. will start. Yes. Um, continue con los problemas de audio en mi computadora. Lo escucho super suave. Oh <laughs> Casi no, no escucho nada. Estoy tratando de corregir, pero, pero siempre escucho. Super suave. Mm. Yeah, Me yes, I do. I do. Uh, I can hear you perfectly. 
Entonces creo que en, en mi aplicación de Zoom el problema, porque bien poquitito escucho. Oh, what a change. Voy, voy a reiniciar a ver si, si me logro Perfect. solucionar. No problem, no problem. Then Mr. Carlos and Herlin, let's do it. Carlos, are you ready? Yes. Herlin, you will start. Okay. Caroline. Okay. It's great to see you, Dot. How you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. How you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. How you riding in our streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I, I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. Harlin, riverboat, riverboat. 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 Perfect. Okay, thanks. So let's see, Emily, you are going to help me please with Jose Lino. Mr. Jose Lino, you ready? Yes. Okay, Emily, please, you start. Great to see you, Tom. Have you been in your lungs long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that. Too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Ridden, ridden. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Uh, there a lot of fun. Sorry, sorry. Actually, that's how I got up here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, all of you. Remember, all of you remember, Ray, Raven, okay, already, already. Now, let me share with you another short video, and this is part of the grammar. Okay, we go to the, to the course, to the English Corporativo platform, and for tomorrow, I need you to check 5.6 and 5.8, okay? That's for tomorrow, 5 points, I'm sorry, 5 point, yes, 5.6 and 5.8. Today, we're going to cover 5.3 the already and yet. This is very short. Lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she written in a... Oh, come on. Streetcar? 
Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in Is he twice this week? No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, well, but the best way to learn is through practice. Okay, that's theory. So let's see, Katia. <laughs> Tell me, Katia, have you gone dancing this year? No, I haven't gone. Gone dancing this year. Oh, that's bad. Do you like dancing? Yes, belly oh. dancing. Belly dancing. Wow, that's cool. Good exercise. Yes, good exercise. Thank you. What about you, Emily? Have you gone dancing this year? No, yet. No. No yet or no, I haven't. No, no, I haven't. Okay. Because if you tell me no yet, it's because you have it planned. Usted lo tiene planeado que aún no, pero mm. <laughs> soon. I have a question. Yes, tell me. In my case, I don't want to finish that. Um, ¿Cómo se diría? Digamos... Yo, yo no he terminado de estudiar, pero okay. ay, yo tenía esa duda si se tiene que decir I have studied. No. I have studied for one year and a half, perhaps. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene que estar en, en la U? Cinco años. Five years. Ok. Eh, This is the final. Yeah. Ok, you say, oh, I have studied the career for... He studied the career for five years. years. I have studied the career for five years. He studied the career for five years. When you get the four, you will say the period of time. And it's okay. And you also use since. I have studied the career since. He studied the career since. Then you say the specific moment when it started. Ahí dice el momento específico cuando comenzó. Okay? Like okay. I, I've studied the career since, uh, what, 2016? 
17. 17, okay? Since 2017, you see? Is it clear now? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Any other question, guys? Yes, Mario. Um, I, I, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, I, I see the, stru the structure Structure for the, the structure for the, uh, the the sentence. Uh, the use auxiliar have uh, complete the uh, the bit uh, the form verb is the original form, no modified form. For example, I have study, I have read, no modified the original form. No, they have doesn't change. Just change have or has. Solo cambia el, el have al has when you are talking about the third person, he, she, or it. But remember, in a moment, Humberto, remember what it's telling you, the, what the auxiliary is telling you is that the sentence is in present perfect. That's why the auxiliary is in present. When you get to the past perfect, Cuando lleguen al pasado perfecto, you will see that the only thing that changes is the auxiliary. Cuando lleguen al pasado perfecto, van a ver que lo que cambia es el auxiliar. Instead of being have, it changes to has. That is the past form of have. Okay? Is it clear now, Maria? Yeah, yeah, yes. O sea, the verb uh, mm, uh, used in the original form modify uh, the auxiliar. Yeah. Have, is the auxiliary has, the one who modifies have. the rest of the sentence? Yes. Have okay. and has. Okay. Perfect. Yes, Humberto, okay. tell me. Yes, I, I want a question about the contraction form uh, in for the for auxiliary verb has in third person. Uh, is it the same? He's a verb. It's, it's uh, uh, yeah, the verb. Okay, the difference is this. Uh, usually, normalmente, when you got the contraction of the verb be and you got another verb next to it, normalmente cuando tenemos contractado el verbo ser estar y luego viene otro verbo, that verb comes in ing, es porque ese verbo va a venir en ing. He's practicing for the exam. She's studying for the test. Okay? You see? Like uh, Mario's, Mario's, or he's sitting in his house. Okay? I'm talking now about Katia. Katia's opening her agenda. You see? Lo que viene es un verbo en ING. When it's the present perfect, para tomar la diferencia, porque me imagino que se suda cuando es uno y cuando es el otro. Para ver la diferencia, cuando estamos, ha, cuando es has, y cuando es is, cuando es has, next to it comes a verb in past participle. Luego viene un verbo en pasado participio. Ok. She's gone. He's I'm clear. Been. Ok, perfect, excellent. Any other question? Those are nice questions, actually. I like them. No? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. And tell me, Basilia, what have you cooked for dinner today? I, uh, for my son's cooked sandwich. Okay. Uh, and me, I drank yogurt. For dinner? Yes. Oh, Basilia. My, my husband got BP. <laughs> my husband is eating. He's eating. And he's eating tacos with beans. Oh my gosh. Requesón. What do we say? Requesón. Oh, it's requesón. Requesón oh and, and chirmol. Social. Social lucky guy. Qué tipo más afortunado. He's getting a good dinner. That's cool. You know, 
You got me, you got my mouth watering. <laughs> Excellent. It's a delicious food. Yes, it's a delicious food. Yes. Thank you very much, Basilia. Let's okay. see. Reinaldo. Yes. Tell me, yes. Reinaldo, have you gone to the movies this month? This month, I haven't. No, I no, haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. Her thank you. Herlin. Yes, teacher. Tell me. Have you gone to the beauty parlor this week? Sorry, I don't I don't listen to you. What? The beauty parlor. Do you know what is a beauty parlor? No, I don't know. The salon? Ah, the beauty salon. <laughs> yes. Have you yes, gone? Teacher. Have you yes, gone to I the have. beauty parlor this week? Oh, she, yes, yes, she has. Excellent. Yes, I Thank have. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Let's see, yes, beauty parlor. You can say beauty parlor, beauty salon, to the salon, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. And tell me, Mr. Carlos, have you played soccer this week? No, this week I didn't. I haven't. I haven't. Because the week hasn't finished. La semana uno ha terminado. So this week, I haven't, no lo he hecho, okay. but perhaps, okay? Okay. So let's see, is there any question about this up to now? We cool? Okay, perfect. Tomorrow, don't worry. We're going to keep on learning and practicing about present perfect, okay? Because this is a big topic. And believe me, I, this is one of my favorite topics to teach present perfect in school. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Mario, please give me just a minute at the end. Thank you very much. Good see night. you tomorrow. Good night. Have a good Thank night. Good night. Good, good night. night. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night. night. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Perfect, Mario, 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 my friend, let's see. I just want to go over with you about something, perhaps. Quiero revisar con usted algo. And now that I have you, because I couldn't connect with you by phone. Let's see, you are Mario Santiago Hernandez, right? It's correct. Okay, Mario, let's see. In your case, Mario, you have worked in some of the activities, usted me ha trabajado algunas de las actividades, but you haven't finished all the sections. En las secciones, no me las ha terminado, ¿verdad? Uh, maybe I'm check. Uh, creo que, creo, creo, creo que me faltaba la, bueno, de las cinco, estuve chequeando la cuatro, estuve chequeando eh, y había trabajado. De hecho, ahorita me voy a conectar y quiero ver. Yeah, because you got in section one, you got 75. That means that the last exercise, you didn't do it. No me hizo el último ejercicio. In the, in the section one? Yes, you just got 75%. Uh, section okay. two, you got 57%. En la sección dos, me, me sacó 57. In okay. section three, you got 62. In section four, you got 64. Okay. Okay. And the midterm, you got 87. That's okay. So, what I would like you to do, if it's possible, and if you have the time, si le es posible, si tiene el tiempo, if you can redo the whole section, it's easy because now you know the exercise. Hoy le va a ser más fácil porque conoce los ejercicios. And if you have any question of the sections, let me know. I'm going to be here connected so I can check. Uh, in my case, I can, uh, okay, yeah, let me stop. So, but I would like you to go over all those exercises for you to, to get a better grade, of course. And of it's course. also a good practice. Y desde luego es una buena practica. Thank you, okay. So I'm uh, gonna be here and if you need any help, just text me, okay? Okay, um, teacher, I, I have a question, but 
I have a question. Uh, I'm uh, complete the platform and for my first uh what's it my first model 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 oh, model sure. uh -huh. uh, bueno voy a decirlo en español este es mi 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 my, 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 my primera este experiencia digámoslo así con 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 con, con plataforma. el curso con la plataforma o sea de hecho o sea hasta ahora de hecho he entrado en la plataforma del Insafor entonces Digamos que, que al principio me, no, me, no, me, no me ubiqué. Entonces, that de happens, hecho. No se preocupe. Ajá, entonces, entonces, al principio no me ubiqué y como que no entendía bien cómo era el, 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 el sistema, digámoslo así. Y no sé si tal vez se pueda apreciar que como que ya al final he empezado a, ¿cómo se diría? El, el midterm me dio a entender que ya había captado la idea porque en el midterm sí se me fue arriba. Ajá, entonces como que ya poco a poco fui agarrando como me acaba la, 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 la onda. Pero sí, quizás yo lo que hacía es, yo lo completé y eh, básicamente mandaba el, ¿cómo decir? Mandaba la, 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 la evaluación, mandaba la evaluación tal y como, digamos así, lo hacía. No, algo así como decir, bueno, yo esto es lo que entendí, lo mandaba pero todavía no había captado, digámoslo así, el proceso de evaluación. Eh, voy a revisar definitivamente todos los ejercicios, eh, porque estoy viendo algunos que, por ejemplo, hay uno de que, es, por ejemplo, hay uno que son como cero puntos, y, por ejemplo, hay uno, precisamente estoy leyendo, por ejemplo, este que es el 3.11, eh, Reading Exercise, The World of let the Network. Let me see, let me see, let me see, 3.11. Vamos a ver. 3.11, 3.11, The World of In the one neighborhood. Neighborhood. Y, neighborhood. Ajá, y cero. <ríe> yo fui, pero yo no sé, realmente no había, como le digo, no había captado. Eh, voy a chequearlo, voy a chequearlo para, para, para revisarlo todo, pues definitivamente. Lo voy a okay. revisar todos los. Let's y en caso de alguna dificultad, yo me comunicaré con usted, Tisho. 311. Solo déjame ver de qué estamos hablando. Ok, yes. Lo que pasa es que ahí le dice, eh, oh, usted me sacó cero. Ah, en ese uh -huh. ejercicio es el que un compañero puso ahí en el chat. Este, no sé si usted ve el, el WhatsApp. Este, sí, un compañero sí lo, lo compartió, compartió de que este ejercicio tiene una peculiaridad. Con una que usted ponga mala, le pone cero. Ah. Este ejercicio sí las pide todas buenas o todas buenas. Ajá, correcto. Ah, okay. sí, y, y inclusive el chat me vino a comunicar como a la tercera, hasta, creo que como, al, bueno, en la segunda semana prácticamente vine a como a, a armarme. Sí, la verdad es que al principio sí me fue un poco difícil, digamos okay, así, este, but ubicarme. Don't worry, don't worry. If you got any doubt, remember, I'll be here to help you. Si tiene alguna duda, no se preocupe. Estaré acá para ayudar. Ok. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Have teacher. a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you.